Hello there, I'm Eric, and welcome to Going Solar with Pivot Energy. In this channel, we'll keep you up to date on solar energy, commercial solar, community solar, and how you can go solar. By the end of this video, you'll know all about commercial solar and solar power for your business, including how it works, financial benefits, and financing options. Before we get started, make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the notification button so that you can stay updated with our latest videos on solar energy, tax benefits, policies, best practices, and more. Now let's take a close look at commercial solar. All right, first let's break down how on-site commercial solar works for businesses. This is where you actually have a solar array on your roof or somewhere on your property actually powering your facility. The array is made up of photovoltaic solar panels that convert the sun's energy into electricity. When you are producing energy, it first goes into your building to be consumed, with any excess energy feeding the electric grid, and your meter literally runs backwards, counting down the kilowatt hours that you have overproduced. In most cases, the utility credits the excess power that your solar panels produce at the retail rate they would normally charge. This is called net metering, and it is the most common way utilities pay customers for generating energy. This means that when you use clean solar energy, you are not paying the utility company for that energy. Additionally, any excess electricity is sent back to the power grid and reduces your bill further. And all of the solar energy you are using means that you are not relying on fossil fuels for that electricity, thus helping curb CO2 or carbon dioxide emissions. So now you want to in. You want a solar array so that you can save money and benefit the planet. Great, let's talk about how you can reduce the price of your solar array, and that is through various solar incentives. Now, before I jump into this, I wanna point out that every solar program in each state is slightly different. But let's start with a couple of incentives that can apply for everyone. First up, we have the Federal Investment Tax Credit. The Federal Investment Tax Credit, or ITC, was originally introduced in 2005 as part of the Energy Policy Act and was most recently extended in the federal COVID relief bill passed by Congress in December of 2020. This allows businesses to continue to receive the 2020 value of 26% of the entire system cost as a tax credit in both 2021 and 2022. Next up, we have a nice little accounting tool called depreciation. Solar energy is eligible for 100% bonus accelerated depreciation. That means that you can depreciate the entire asset in the first year. Depreciation is an expense on your books and having a large number to expense certainly helps to lower your tax liability. We always recommend consulting with your own tax advisor with regard to being able to monetize both the tax credit and depreciation. Oh yes, and there's still more incentives. In addition to federal incentives, some states, municipalities, and even utilities offer rebates or other incentives for solar projects. Depending on your state and policy, one beneficial incentive is to sell SRECs generated by your system that can further reduce the cost of the solar installation. SREC stands for Solar Renewable Energy Certificate. They account for the environmental value that a renewable energy system provides beyond electricity, and they hold a monetary value. Businesses can sell these certificates to utilities that have a renewable portfolio standard. The price that businesses get varies between utilities and states. Now, if all of this seems like a lot, well it is. But don't worry, that's why we're here. We work with clients to tell them what is available in their area to reduce the system cost. If you'd like to start discussing the potential tax incentives of a new commercial solar project, reach out using the email in the description and we'll get the ball rolling. We'll dig into your location and see how many of these or other types of incentives are available for you. One great thing is most of these incentives can be layered with net metering, meaning that the returns you receive from the incentives are on top of or separate from your electric bill savings. If you want to learn more about the financial incentives of commercial solar, you can also check out our video, Financial Incentives and Advantages of Commercial Solar Energy for Businesses, for more details. All right. 
Now that you know some of the ways you can save money on your electricity and in your initial investment in a solar project, let's talk about how you pay for your project in the first place. While cash is always king and generally provides the best return, many large investments are financed and solar offers a few ways to do that. As you begin to consider your options for solar energy programs, it's important to think about the different ways that you can finance your project. The first and most popular way to finance solar is a power purchase agreement, or PPA. With this option, a solar developer, such as Pivot Energy, designs, permits, finances, installs, and owns the solar system on your property for no upfront cost to you. You instead pay for the solar array by paying for the electricity produced by the array, which is typically at a lower rate than they would have paid the utility, resulting in immediate cost savings and limiting the risks of ownership. Another way to finance a system is with an operating lease. This is similar to any other type of equipment lease property owners may have, making them easy to understand for most business owners. One of the main differences between an operating lease and a PPA is that with an operating lease, you are paying for equipment and a PPA, you are paying for the energy produced by the equipment. In both of these scenarios, at the end of the term of the agreement, the business owner can choose to purchase the system for a significantly reduced price. Lastly, you could also get a loan. We work with approved and knowledgeable lenders who can help any business with a solar loan. To dive deeper into these different financing options, check out our video, How to Finance Your Commercial Solar Energy Project, PPA, Loans, Operating Lease, and Pace. Our team is passionate about making commercial solar energy accessible and understandable, and we have lots of content to help guide you on your way to going solar. Adding a solar project to your business can benefit your bottom line and your business in more ways than one. Our team at Pivot Energy has combined decades of experience in the solar industry, and we'd love to use that experience to help you go solar. If you're interested in going solar and want to see what it would look like for you, our team can help you navigate the policies and tax incentives in your region, plan your project, give financial guidance, and bring your dream solar project to reality. It's natural to have questions, so get in touch for a free consultation. Our team of solar experts are happy to discuss the ways that solar energy can work for your business. My email address is also listed below in the description, so don't hesitate to reach out. I hope you enjoyed this video and have a better idea of how commercial solar can work for your business. If you're passionate about clean energy and want to stay informed on solar energy developments, give our video a thumbs up subscribe to our channel, and hit the bell so you're notified when we post new videos. In our videos, we talk about solar energy for businesses, community solar, and all the different ways that you can save money and benefit the planet with clean energy. Thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.